Hi, I'm Andy with Vector Gaming, and I've got Matt and Steve here, and we've just come out of Alien Isolation, and we're just going to talk about our first impressions of the game and go into what we thought about it. So first of all, Matt, what did you think of the game? Uh, so I went into this not knowing much about the game. Um, I had watched a few gameplay videos. I wasn't, you know, too knowledgeable on it. So I went, we queued up, it's pretty much the first game we played. Um, and using a, I believe I was using a PlayStation 4 controller, uh, if I remember correctly. And uh, so I wasn't used to the controller either. But um, I've got to say, I did die a lot of times. And it was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, did, you, did you find that, Steve, that you died a lot of times? Because I, I think... Both me and you sort of went out of one of the doors and we got killed straight away by the alien. Yeah, so first of all, when I left the room, I got instantly killed and you meant to look at this little radar blip thing on your, you know, you got like a little meter. The motion tracker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but when you look at the motion tracker, everything in front of you is really blurred. And I tried, you know, sneaking around, but every time I did it, I would get seen by the alien and instantly the little thing would go straight through and kill you instantly. Very, very hard. Very hard. Yeah, so... Uh, I didn't die, I think I died about two or three times. Uh, my last one I had quite a good run actually, um, but it does really take you out of it. If you're trying to look at the motion tracker, you literally, like you're saying, you can't see anything else. And that, um, Matt, you also played it with the Oculus Rift uh, Yeah, as well. so um, when I played it, comparing like the Oculus Rift version to the standard uh, controller, you know, the PlayStation 4 controller, playing on that, um, it was... When I played it just with a controller, it was very intense and my heart was racing and I was very scared about letting the alien catch me, trying to sneak about. I mean, even the footsteps were freaking me out. But when I played it with the Oculus Rift, it was like another dimension because I was so immersed with like, you know, they put headphones over you so you can't hear anything outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're looking around. And the difference between the, uh, the Oculus Rift version and this one that we played at the booth um, on the controller is you can't look at your motion tracker and at the same time look for the alien so you have to tilt your head to look down at the tracker to see where this alien is yeah and then look back up and if you look back up hey he might be right there staring you in the face um, I thought overall it was a very intense kind of game yeah got your heart racing I have to say um, I played the alien isolation at your game of res uh, back at the start of the year and uh, I wasn't as impressed with it as I was today uh, I think there, there still is some bits to improve like um, like the motion detector just seemed to lock on to the alien that like there was a little dipping bird I don't know if you saw that but it didn't really track on that oh, right. um, so I think there are still tiny bits that, that need improving on the game but one thing I was wondering is uh, did you ever when the alien caught you or when what was okay guess what what was the scariest moment for you because when I it wasn't so much getting caught because that's when I felt relaxed again mm. it was like when it was coming when it actually gets you I yeah. was kind of calm, but it was more I mean, the suspense of he's coming around that corner. He's, he's, he's coming whereabouts is he? Um, I think when this this time as well, actually, they gave you a flamethrower, so you, you did have something to, to sort of ward off the alien. Although I don't know about you two, but I didn't get a chance to use it. I did use it, and did I you? Uh, yeah, I uh, so you get two two goes of the flamethrower, and uh, basically, uh, like they explained before we played the game, uh, they said you know explain to us three you, know, you can't kill that you can't kill the alien yeah um, it's inv basically invincible just got to hide it's try and get through just there to ward it off really a little bit like a cat and mouse type thing um, and you got to try and get through that being detected but I had this flamethrower and the the moment for me was when I felt like using it was I was dying a lot and I thought I need to change up my tactics and the alien was coming around the corner I hid by this box looking at the motion tracker he's literally and the great thing about the motion tracker is this blur when you're looking at it mm. it puts everything out of focus a little yeah, bit yeah 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 and um I thought, oh, I'll get my flamethrower up. And the light of the flamethrower, regardless of using it, the light of the flamethrower attracted his attention. He turned right around, and then I panicked, fired it, and it does bide you some time, even though it doesn't kill it. it bide you some time, it goes up into the vents for like 30 seconds or a minute, and then you can kind of See, now, you, you were saying that, and we were having a discussion um, briefly, uh, and the alien was coming around the corner with me, and I got the flamethrower out, and I was like, right, I'm going to have to use this in a second, and just carried on walking. So it does seem like there are a few bugs still in it. Um, if he's caught, the flamethrower's caught his eye in there and it hasn't for me. But Steve, did you uh, use the flamethrower and what did you think of, with it? I didn't get to use the flamethrower, but what I will say is the, the alien kind of trolled me because he saw me, or I saw him on the blip, you know, going coming around towards me and then it all went quiet and I thought, oh, I've got away from him now and he came from behind me. I didn't have no sound because I couldn't really hear anything because the sound at that time went off. 
So I was there proceeding to this door, which you had to push the button to open the door. So as I was proceeding to the door, next to me, this alien come up behind me and stabbed this little thing through me. And then mm. the sound came back on, which then made me jump. <laughs> because, like, you know, I've just seen a dagger come straight through my, you know, I'll, stomach. I want to say on that point, um, it's interesting you mentioned about the, like, you know, spiking through the back comes through and you see it. Um, you didn't notice it, really, with you, but no. um, there's a variation in death sequences that I experienced based on how you're caught. Uh, mm. So if you're, if it runs up, uh, I think that's how it works. Like, when it runs up right in front of you and you're just, like, confronted with it, Open, mouth opens, kind of just bites you. If you're running away sprinting and it comes up behind you, it will grab you by the legs, pull you down, and then drag you towards it. I had yeah. a different death scene though. Because he, yeah, he, he, he came, came towards came the me. Stomach. Yeah, he yeah. came towards me, pushed me over, he leant over me, and then he obviously did something with his claw. Because then he stabbed that me. That sounds very bad. Yeah, okay. Did something that, that with his does, claw. <laughs> doesn't, um, <laughs> that doesn't work. He stuck it in you. Um, but I have to say, last time I played it, again, uh, the alien just seemed to derp about the map a bit. Whereas now he seems to be, he's there one second, he comes to the door and then he disappears up through the, the vents. Yeah. And it seems to be a lot better, it's AI now. I could see myself um, purchase this game, I reckon. Maybe mm. not instantly because of what happened in Colonial Marines. And when we were queuing up for this, I thought, I'm going to be a little bit cautious, a little bit careful, because even though it might be really good, the Finnish game might not turn. Like Colonial Marines, that was a disaster. Um, yeah. And everyone, you know, even people in the queue we were talking to said, like, you know, that was a bad game. It's pretty much a unanimous decision, but I'm going to wait until it comes out, I reckon, and then I'll probably, you know, it got me interested. I, I just mm. like the fact it got my heart racing, and there's a lot of horror games which have these cheap jump scares, and, you know, it's just like cheap thrills, but. I actually felt genuinely kind of anxious a lot of the time, like, you know, trying to get through and... I'd say the alien's smart, would you, Steve, say? Yeah, very. Like, I was, I, at times, I was on the edge of my seat because I was like, where is he? Where, <laughs> where is this alien going to come from? You know, but uh, from never playing this game before, I never really heard anything about it, I never played Colonial Marines, you know, as <laughs> You're not missing much with Colonial Marines, I've mate. heard a lot about, yeah, don't that. Worry about that, but, <laughs> you know, from... Playing this today, if it come out tomorrow, I would, you know, go and buy it because it looks very, very interesting. You know, a, a game that could really keep me on the edge of my seat. Yeah, yeah. So it, it definitely seems like an interesting game. Um, and Steve, you said that from that you, you would be uh, looking to buy it. Yeah, Matt, I would. Yeah. Um, you're you're still on the fence a bit, and I yeah, I'm going to hold off for a little bit because of what happened with Colonial Marines. Yeah. So I'm going to wait for the game to come out, see what others think of the game, watch some more videos of the finished product. Um, I would quite like, even though I haven't got an Oculus Rift, I would quite like to play it on that again because I got a very short, I got one life with that. I only played it for two minutes, but it, it felt so real like, whilst I was involved in that. Like, I, yeah. you know, looking at your uh, motion track, I felt like checking your watch, you know, like in real life. It was kind of like mm. you're looking over. So, yeah. and, and you couldn't have the motion tracker and the flamethrower at the same time yeah, as well. So it kind of so it, it limits you there. Yeah. But yeah, it, it seems like it's a good game. It's going in the right direction from what I can see. Um, and we'll be definitely trying to check that out when it comes out um, next month. So, we've been here at the Alien Isolation booth at EGX London. So, thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.